Provisioning is the process of giving access to someone who has already paid for a given tier. So in this case, what we want to do is we want to allow the customer to see the dashboard for the tier that they've already paid for. Now, the way that we're going to do this is we're going to have our application listen to a webhook event that fires on our Stripe account that lets us know that, hey, this customer has subscribed. So the way that a webhook works is we're going to set up some sort of URL inside of Stripe. And when events fire on our Stripe account, we will be notified of those by Stripe sending post requests to that URL. Now, in practice, when we're developing locally, we're actually going to use the Stripe CLI to wire up and listen for events. So we can say Stripe listen dash dash forward to localhost 3000 slash webhooks. This will form a direct connection between Stripe and our local machine. If you recall back to the very first episode where we were setting up our API keys, we used this webhook signing secret and set that up inside of our credentials. Now, what happens is when we go through the process of signing up, so if we were to go through this checkout flow again and redirect to checkout, we go through and we actually subscribe. Again, we're using the link payment method type that we're already sort of set up for you'll notice that we are going to receive a bunch of different notifications. So the charge is succeeding, invoices are being created, customer subscription is being updated and created, the checkout session is being completed. There's several different events that are firing that are all related to that checkout session going through the process of being fulfilled. What we wanna do is we wanna listen for these customer.subscription event types and use those to toggle data inside of our database or update our database and keep it in sync with Stripe so that we can quickly tell when a customer is subscribed. So if we go back to our application controller inside of our Rails app here, we're calling current user.paymentprocessor.subscribed question mark. That's using the pay gem to check to see if we have a trialing or an active subscription related to the current user. The way that this works is by accepting and handling webhooks for us. The pay gem is going to mount its own controllers at a specific route for handling webhooks. So what we want to do is go back here and say stripe listen um, localhost 3000 slash pay slash webhooks slash stripe. This will start to forward those webhook events through the pay engine so that pay can update all of those related models. So if we go back over here and go through the through the payment flow one more time, redirect to checkout, subscribe. Now, if we take a look at our terminal, we'll notice that there's a bunch of 200s and that's because pay is handling all of these webhook notifications, including this customer.subscription.created event, which should be creating a subscription inside of pay. And that will know that we now have access to the dashboard. So now we are successfully provisioning access to the Stripe dashboard. And this is all that we wanted to do in this episode. Now, if you're implementing this yourself, you will want to handle all of those customer.subscription events inside of your own webhook handler. We have episodes all about setting up webhook handlers. Now, it is my preference to store a subscription model in the database, have a customer related to many subscriptions, so that you can keep track of all of their subscription history. And then each of those subscriptions will have a status. That status might be trialing, active, canceled, and that'll let you know whether or not the customer has an active subscription at a certain price point and will allow you to enable or, um, or disable certain features in the dashboard when they come through your site. One more thing right before you go, just a quick pro tip for working with the CLI. Now we've already got this bin dev thing running that's going to start up processes for us, something that I like to do is add this line into our proc file so that when we fire up in development, we know that we're also starting our Stripe listener. And it will always be forwarding those webhooks to the right place. That way we can close this listener off, exit that tab, and now we will successfully uh, start up our Stripe webhook forwarding when we run bin dev. This is a pro tip. I highly recommend doing this so that you don't have to always go and check to see that your, uh, your Stripe webhook uh, listener is set up. Once that's running, now you can just go through the same process, check out, and it will successfully forward those events into pay. In the next episode, we're going to talk about managing the customer's billing using the customer portal. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.